Hi crafters, um, I want to tell you the, uh, the following things. I just put up the video public of the tutorial I did a few years ago about this carousel, but that tutorial is half in Dutch and half in English. Um, I just spoke to Tracy and she will do the tutorial for this uh, carousel in the coming week because tomorrow is her 50th birthday and um, she has a daytime job and so all the people who asked me for the tutorial for this carousel that's why it took a little bit longer I'm so sorry but you will have to um, uh, honor and respect the fact that she has a daytime job but as soon as her video will be up I will take mine down so then you have a good and perfect tutorial because I can do tutorials but I can't edit my video so I have to do all things in one take and that's why I don't like sending my own tutorials because I think Tracy does do a way better job than I do and um, but you asked me also for the tutorial for this uh, carousel and I'm going to uh, show you how to put it together and I hope that's enough for the people who want to have a fast tutorial um, if you want to have a perfect tutorial then you have to wait uh, a two or three weeks because then Tracy will do a tutorial also on this one in English and full in English and so on so I will do my best to do a tutorial for you so you have an idea how to put the picture carousel uh, together so this one this one is the one I'm going to explain the other carousel there is a video on my YouTube channel uh, that you can see and hopefully that's enough to put it together if not then please be patient Tracy uh, will do it next week in the cut file if you buy a bought the cut file in my Etsy store you will find two of these sorry nine or eight or nine of these pieces what you do is you stack them on top of each other and you glue all the pieces on top of each other these are the base pieces that you have to put your paper straws through through I forgot to take my paper straw so forgive me I need to uh, take them and so I can show it to you you need six paper straws and you don't need to cut them to length so you need the full length of your paper straw it doesn't matter what color you take because you won't see anything from the outside of the paper straws when you are done if you want to color match it it's no problem of course but um, so these you glue all on top of each other so you get a disc like this make sure that your paper straws will fit through them they go tight but that's the, that's the purpose it's meant to go tightly through so make sure that you glue them perfectly on top of each other and this one will go a little bit looser so this one will be tight and this one will be slightly looser it will all make sense in the end but I just wanted to tell you then um, we are going to do the top for the top piece you need two of these this part and this part it's not complicated to put together I will show it to you I will zoom in a little bit but then my camera will shake so I try to not zoom in and out as much but um, you have to fold on all the fold lines and if you find stuff boring to watch you can fast forward the video but um, since I'm just not good at editing I have to do my videos all in one take so forgive me for that but then you at least have a tutorial that you can use to put it together so it will form a, a dome or pointy piece like this then you take this piece, fold on all fold, uh, fold lines and it goes very fast together and these you fold towards you and the other ones you fold back 
and since Tracy, her English is way better than mine, I hope I make myself clear. Um, I know you all don't mind that I do not speak English perfectly, but since you know I'm proud of all my designs, so I want to be proud at my videos too, and I want to do a good job. So I take off the backings from these pieces and from the side piece because that makes it easier in a few seconds to put all things together. Then you glue this one on an angle against this one and then you will be left with something that looks like this. Then you fold them a little bit more in and then you take the piece that you just put together. First do one part and to be smart Put the openings, opening sides together, then you have all openings on one side. I always look at those details. So this is how you attach it inside and then you get the domed top of your picture carousel. So then you fold them a little bit inwards, the other side and put this one over it but maybe it's smart to first take off all the backings and again I just cut my nails so it will take a few seconds longer and I know it's boring to watch but I try to do it as fast as possible so then you take this piece, make sure it lines up and that you have the, if you have pe uh, paper with, uh, how do you say that, a grain or texture that it's on the good side. And then you can glue them, see now they are sticking, <laughs> so like this. And then the last piece you have is to cover up this so you can glue this one against this side. So that's what I'm going to do. I take my glue bottle and I put some glue on the tabs. And I know it's much but this piece needs to be stuck because the other piece you just need to attach it against each other. Oh. They have to line up, so make sure that they line up the hole. So, like this. And then squeeze it tight. And when you feel that the glue is stuck, then you put some glue on this surface. And Yes, I have to put my cap on because else my glue will dry out. And then you can attach this part against the top. And then you will be left with a top that looks like this. Make sure it sticks. And of course in the cut file you will find all the decorative uh, layering pieces that go on top also. For the ones who bought my cut file, the red lines are all the base parts and the blue lines parts are all uh, layers for your designer paper. The next part is a part that will look like this. The only thing you have to do is fold it on all fold lines. So you will end up with, is that an octagon with eight sides? I don't know. I don't know the difference between six and eight sides, how, how you call it, that's what I wanted to say. But then you can close it like this, so, and then I what I did wrong, I put the glue on the outside but the glue must be on the inside, so that's my mistake, see, and normally when you can edit your video, you can take all those mistakes out, but the glue must be on this side and not on this side, but that's my mistake. And the same counts for this part, because the glue needed to be on the inside and not the outside. So you see, I mess up too. And this part you glue on top, so the part with the rounded 
circles you glue against this one. And you can, it, it can be possible that there is a, a part sticking out a little bit, but that you, then you can cut it off. You have to see if the paper, stra uh, paper straws will fit through there. So you have to be able to see all the holes clearly. I hope that's visible on the camera, but um, I will make it more clear in a second. I will first do the other part and then it will be more clear. I have a dome here and I will show you what I did. You have eight of these pieces and what you do is you take you, you take off the backings of the sides and you glue all the sides e against each other. And when you're down to the last one, you take off the backings. So this, what I'm doing now, you do that eight times and then you will end up with the same piece that I have here. You don't put glue on these tabs yet, so no um, paper, uh, tape, because that one will be glued with some liquid glue or hot glue. And then you have to wiggle them a little bit inside because this is your stand. And it's a tight fit. Make sure you line it up perfectly because the more perfectly you do it, the more nice it will look. So, then you're left with this piece, but before you go and do something with it, put all the glue flaps inside and then push this part through the bottom part. And you have to make sure that it lines up. So, and it fits tight, but that's the meaning because else you will get a big gap and that does not look right. So. Then you spread all these parts out and then you, what you can do is put these glue tabs all in and that's what I did, but you don't have to do it, it's just something you can do. Make sure these tabs are all folded in and then push it against your work surface, push against the middle flap. And when they are leveled, you can turn it over very carefully and put some hot glue around the base part. That's just to make it more sturdy. You can also, if you want to fiddle around with it, put some uh, liquid glue on these tiny tabs inside. I didn't fiddle around. What I did was I put it against my desk, made sure that it touched the bottom, the bottom, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then I turned it over, took my hot glue gun and put some hot glue in the corners so then it will also stick. If you have done that, then you can take off all these backings. So, yeah, I know there are eight, but you have the benefit of a video so you can fast forward. And for the people, while I'm doing this, for the people who uh, look at my videos a lot, look at the Chaos Craft uh, video because they have an announcement. And it's fun because I told in my video we will do it. I will, do, I will tell all about it in a separate video, but if you can't wait, look at the video of Chaos Craft because they have a very nice offer from them and me for all of you who buy the cutting dials, dice I design. So then when you have it like this, attached to one part, you can take your liquid glue, put some glues or dollops of glues on these tabs, and then shut the base part carefully. You have to take more time than I do, but I just wanted you to have a quick tutorial how to put it together. So now it's closed, and when it's closed you can make sure that you push this one 
and hold it for a few seconds because then the glue dries if you did not do the hot glue part then you have to do what I do now if you've done the hot glue part this will be already stuck but this makes sure that your um, carousel will stand up straight and not on an angle so this is a very important part for you to do then you do some dollops of glue on these parts and slowly but surely you will see how this carousel is building up and then you have to glue this part against those flaps and if there is a little tiny piece sticking out you can cut it off but make sure that it first attached to the bottom I had on mine one that was sticking out a little bit so I just cut it off see there was one bit that was sticking out and I just cut it off and then you will not see it if you don't like it then the, what you have to do is make a hole in one circle, put that on first, then spread out all the glue flaps and then stick it on it because then you can push it up and make it attach to those pieces and then you see those pieces. Uh, then you will not see those pieces anymore. But I don't mind because I don't think anyone will look on the bottom side. But if you mind, it's a possibility. And then you will stick all your paper straws inside. And like I told you, this one will fit very tightly, but I did that on purpose because this needs to be tight, else your picture frame will not stand up straight. So, this is how it will look when you put all six paper straws inside. So, this is the part that we have done, and this is the part that we have done. I will put all those paper backings away and then we will come to the what I think is the most intricate part or difficult part it's just how you want to call it but I will make sure to try and explain it as best as possible in the cut file you will find four of these tiny little things what you do is you fold this part on all four sides and you put glue on the outside so on the struct structure side textured side <laughs> because these steps are important and were so small I made them separately from the file I know it's annoying you have to put on these tiny strips but I think in the end it's better for your product so sometimes I need to pick a way to do things in an other way than I would normally do it but if that makes the end result better I will not hesitate to do it differently so when you attach them to the corners it doesn't matter if you attach them like this or like this that's no problem at all just attach them to the sides. I will show it in a second if I glued on my last one. So it will look like this. Then you will fold it over and attach the tops to the sides and the sides to the top and bottom part. So you make like a little shallow box or drawer so like this and then you fold these pieces over to the inside because against these pieces you are going to attach your pictures and in a few minutes later in the video you will know why we make this part then it's smart to first do one side sorry for the struggling but I want to do a good job for you so like this and then you are uh, going to attach it to the bottom the other side and the top and then you will be left with a hollow box 
make sure you take your time because it needs to be straight. And this is the part that you attach your picture to because I wanted you to be able to take your pictures in and out of the frame. Uh, that's the same that I wanted you to be able to swivel the frames. So, and now comes the most difficult part and I will try to show you slowly. This is the frame. This one will go in and outside this frame. What you need to do is you have to take this piece with the two tabs on the side. So this piece. Take off, sorry, first fold on all fold, fold lines. Then you take off the backing and you attach it to the bottom side of this one. So you place it before you like this and you glue it on this side. So like this. I will turn it over and I will show you in a few seconds, but I have to look what I'm doing because if I don't attach this properly, the box that we just created will not fit inside. So I need to do a good job. So like this. And the frame is now very flimsy, I know, but it will be more sturdy once you are going to dress it up with the layers and stuff like that. And then you can attach it to the side, like this, so. And then you are left with one separate part that looks like this. You take off one side of the backing and you place it, and this one, is the most important side that you do it well. You attach it against this edge. So, like this. I know maybe my big head will be in the way, but please know that I do it because if I don't attach it straight, the box we just created will not fit inside. And I don't see my fault line because of the lighting. So, Forgive me if my big head is in the way. I don't know. I always see that <laughs> at the last moment. So we create some kind of a box in the box. That's what we are doing now. Then you take off the backing of the other side and attach these two against each other. So. And then later on, not now, but later on you can close this and you have a frame that fits inside here. And that's how it will look when you're done. The first time will be a little bit hard to get this part in and it's because it needs to uh, go between these two tiny glue flaps. See now I pulled too hard to show you and I pulled off my tap. But I think you know what the meaning is, right? So because it's now very thin and does not have the designer paper on it yet. It, it's, it's a little bit fragile. And then you are left with this part. This part needs to wrap around the straws. So you have to, what you have to do is take an embossing a stylist. I know most of us have it. What you also can do if you don't have a stylist if you have something with a rounded edge like this marker, you can burnish the paper so the fibers of the paper will uh, be bruised. And you will see my paper will go and wrinkle. But the benefit is the way I built the frame is that you won't see this ugly part after you put all the frames onto the paper straws. Oops, see, now I pressed too hard. Take your time, do this carefully. It needs to go and bend. It needs to be rounded. So if you have done that, and if you have done a better job than I did now, then you take off this, these backings. Oh. Now I'm struggling with the last piece. Glue this one shut. And again, take your time. Do not be in a hurry like me. And 
when you have it like this, first put in your frame. And in the beginning, like I told you, it will be a little bit of a struggle, but it fits perfectly. You see? And then pay, take one paper straw out of your holder. See, and I put the tape on the wrong side. <laughs> but you have to glue it shut like this, so you know for sure that your paper straw. So don't put the tape on the outside, but put it on the inside. <laughs> And that's the fun of not being able to do good video <laughs> tutorials. But you have to glue it like this and then you can take it on and off like I can see. So that's how the... Um, <sighs> the, the, <laughs> the frames will be. And then you can put this, this dome on top. You have to fiddle around a little bit so all the straws on it are in the right holes. But then it will be shut. I hope this tutorial, this rubbish tutorial, is going to help you put it together. I didn't want you guys to wait any longer. So um, I hope uh, this all makes uh, more sense in how to put... Uh, it together. I wish you all a nice day. Thank you for watching. And when uh, Tracy did her video on this carousel, I will take mine down and I will upload or she will upload hers and I will refer you to her video because I know it will be, be, be way better than mine. <laughs> Have a nice day to you all. Bye bye. <laughs>